Hello, sweet souls. Happy Sunday, August 7th. This will be a full length reading on TikTok and YouTube. So if I exceed the 10 minutes, follow me on YouTube to watch the rest of the reading. Um, this is going to be a reading for the water signs. Spirit said that I need to post a water sign reading. So it's for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. And we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angels, and saints, and ask for a message for a greater good. And this is for the water signs. So what does the water signs need to know? All right. What does this water sign need to know? Ooh. I've got three cards. Okay. Uh, for some of you water signs, you're going to be receiving a message. Um, this message, when you receive it, is going to bring a lot of peace. Um, it's going to... It's gonna be a weight off your shoulder is what I feel. Um, I also got the exchanging gifts, which is, this is understanding what you put out, you get back. So whatever you have put out, uh, water signs is coming back to you, exchanging gifts. And this has to do with your connection with the universe. So let's pull from Lightseer's deck. <clears throat> See what comes out. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So there is this lower vibrational energy around. You may feel like you have been defeated. Divine timing was at play, and I can see there was a lot of anxiety and stress surrounding this situation. Let's see if they can give us a little bit more. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or this could be your energy cutting this lower vibrational fire sign out. Yep, I see that, yeah. This Libra, Gemini, of course, is a very cold and detached energy. You're coming out as the Queen of Pentacles, grounded, stable, and financially secure. What else do we need to know? Yeah. It looks like um, there is, you're bored in a situation. You're not happy with the way things are going. Um, you're just bored with it. Um, this could be surrounding a commitment, a marriage, some sort of uh, family dynamic, but you're just, um, you're not happy with it. Again, they're saying it could be with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. You're in a commitment that you are bored with. What else do we need to know? <clears throat> so what I'm getting is you thought that this was divine love, and all you have received is this Ten of Swords pain. This is mistrust. This is um, betrayal. This is a lot of pain. What else do we need to know for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio? Yeah, there's a tower moment. If you've already, some of you may have already experienced this, this tower moment. If you haven't, I'm seeing that whatever this relationship is that you're not happy in is, is about to come to an end. What else do we need to know? Yeah. Yeah, you have heightened intuition and your intuition is telling you there's no value and the energy you're putting toward whatever this relationship is. And now it doesn't have to be love. This can be a close friendship. This can be another type of relationship, but I do see family dynamic. Yeah, you're at a crossroads needing to make a decision at this time. Yeah, look at this. You're feeling left out, like abandoned or rejected. There's just, um, there's no value left in the situation. Yeah, there's been some deception and you don't trust this this energy anymore you don't trust this energy and God is guiding you away from the situation it doesn't serve your higher higher good your greater good yeah they're saying continue to plant your seeds manifesting uh, what you want and justice will be served the scales will be balanced um, I'm gonna pull from another deck and see what comes out this is for cancer Pisces and Scorpio Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's see. <clears throat> I did get a couple new decks, you guys, and I can't wait to get them. Um, probably be a couple weeks. Wow. This is this is a toxic energy that you, you have experienced this karmic cycle through many lifetimes. So it's almost like you feel bound to this energy, but it's time to close out the cycle. This is for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's time to close out this cycle. 
Yeah. You know, the divine is asking you to face your fear and to allow this awakening to occur. Um, to open your eyes to the truth and to ascend to a higher level, a higher vibration. Yeah, because the, the commitment that you're seeking um, that is abundant is out there. You know, but you have to release what no longer serves you in order to make room for this commitment that is all in the upright, that is worthy of you. What else? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah. For some of you, you may be getting communication from a King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What else do we need to know for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio? You know, they're saying you need to focus on your creative endeavors right now. You will be recognized for your highest quality of work. Um, they're saying close out this cycle that has caused you pain with this lower vibrational energy. This is an in and out player energy, and it's an energy that you can't trust. The divine is asking you to close out this cycle and focus on your creative endeavors, career and finance. Place your focus on you. Yeah, this is God guiding you. Yeah, so God is showing you that this is a karmic soul connection, one that causes um, heartbreak, great sadness, and it's only meant to teach you a lesson, and that's the truth. Victory will be yours. Yeah, get more connected with the divine um, so that you can listen to God's guidance, and it's going to bring you happiness. When you disconnect from this energy, it's going to bring you happiness. Yeah, move on. They're saying move on from whatever this energy is. Family, friends, loves, whatever it is. It's a karmic energy. You're being asked to transform. Yeah, and you're being divinely protected this time. And you will have victory. Victory will be yours. You will find the inner balance that you're looking for. So this is the reading I have for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I hope it helped whoever needed to hear that. I love you. Have an amazing night. Bye-bye.